Have you ever tried sketching a flower and then you feel like it's looking like everybody else's flowers? That is often because we are usually sketching just, you know, for example the rose, sketching it from the front and in a full bloom. And there's so many more variations of a flower if we kind of open our eyes to uh, different angles and lifespans of a flower. I've gone out and uh, photographed some wild roses here in my area and uh, if you want the references I am uploading it to my Patreon community and uh, I am just giving you five very quick sketches in fine liner of five different roses so let's hit it the first one is a classic view of a rose and that is from the front these are wild roses and uh, so they don't have too many petals to work with which makes them easier to work with as a quick study like this so I am starting with the center here and uh, I think I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. See, I'm gonna start with the center and we have some, have a lot of seeds around. Doing it very doodly. Like that. And then we can add in the petal. And I have one here that is bent, so we kind of see a bent petal here that is kind of going that way. I think that's one of the beautiful thing about these wild roses. They have so many bent petals and that is absolutely incredible. And of course if you like the references for, uh, for this I've uh, uploaded them to my Patreon page. So if you are in there you can get access to all the references from uh, from this video. This one has a bend as well. And then we have one here behind. And we have one that's all very pointy here. And that actually has bends to it as well. So that is very quickly in two minutes a wild rose and of course we can add in the, all the details and stuff um, but that's not really the point with this video today because the point with this video is to show that there is so many angles to choose from so I'm gonna leave this and take the next one in the next one, just zooming out a little bit, I will take one from the side. And again, I'm starting with the center, but this time here, over here was round. I will start with a more oval center. Again, putting in all the seeds here. But this time, putting them further away from the center at the top. And then they will go close to the center when we get to the bottom part here. Of course, we still have a few that are moving away from the herd. texture in there and then we can add in some of the petals starting with the ones here behind see I'm gonna put in one up 
up here. Adding in some bends here and there. Like that. Then we will have one. There, also small bends. And we get to the bottom here and um, here we have, of course, one that is uh, foreshortened a little bit. So that will be kind of moving in that direction. And here we it always helps with the, dire the direction line. So you can kind of see where this pedal is going. And this particular flower actually, I think, lost a petal. So there's a hole between the two here, and that is very beautiful. See the back side of the petal here. And then some bending going on. Taking it all the way across there, attaching it to the center. And you can see how these petals in the sides um, are looking a little bit longer now that they are foreshortened. Oh, sorry, not that. Yeah, they are kind of foreshortened because you can't see the entire width of the petal. You can see it with because it's bent. So we can add some lines to it here to emphasize that shape. And finally, we have this one. Going there, has bends too, um, so that we can emphasize with the lines here. You can see just by adding a line across here, you will see there's a bend in that petal and like that. You can always put in a little bit of shadow and stuff to emphasize it even more. But that is actually a, a wild rose seen from the side. You can see how we are already getting quite a lot of variation here. Now I want to take this one. This is actually seen from the front again. So we have it, have this round center. But this differs quite a lot from the other one because it lost um, one of the petals and because it's starting to wilt a little bit. And um, there's something very beautiful to that as well. Um, something I actually cover in, in an entire class uh, called Floral Immersion. You can find, I'll put a link for it in um, here below so you can find that. I think it's super interesting to see how the shapes change um, over time. So let's start with the petal at the top here. It's actually getting quite a lot more curled now that it, it has aged. And um, we see quite a lot of almost like wrinkles. Um, making this very beautiful, very textured. Then we have a petal down here. Also getting some nice wrinkles. Like that. We can put in a petal here next to it. I know it can be a little bit difficult to follow this, but try to um, either join by join my Patreon to see the references or um, 
find some reference. These are photos I've taken myself um, of flowers or wild roses outside, but you can always go to uh, Unsplash or one of those websites and check out if there's some kind of references there as well. So there we have a wild rose that lost a petal, but still it, it is looking very much like this. Um, and I think it's very beautiful. And there's room for more. I know I'm sketching fast, so I hope you can <laughs> follow along. Let's see, we can do this one. This one is fun, it's from the side. I'm gonna put that here. And um, this one is kind of turning to the right, facing to the right. So putting my oval facing that way. And then we can put in all the seeds here around. Again, keeping it far from, at the far edge of uh, the center, you will have them furthest away. And then when you get to the closer, you will have them very close to the center here. And we can add a few more. And just some lines that indicate that they are attached to this uh, rose here. And then we can put in some leaves. Oh, sorry, petals. And we have one there. And here you can really see how it looks when they are starting to be seen from a different angle, because this part and this part is actually the same petal. And that makes it quite obvious how important it is to actually observe flowers because they are so different than we, when we think we know a flower and then we look at it and it looks so different. And um, I think that is the beauty about sketching from flowers that we've seen in real life and sketched and uh, or, or met in, uh, in the real world, photographed or just standing in front of, because you can get all these variations with it. And they are what makes a flower really, really beautiful. So you can really start to see how this flower comes to life. I think mostly, I, I actually prefer flowers that have a lot of wrinkles and a lot of bends and stuff because it's, it's just really, really beautiful. And a lot more interesting to look at when they have imperfections and weird, uh, small weird uh, flaws and stuff. And um, if we can add that into our sketch, it becomes so much more alive and so much more interesting. So I definitely encourage you to, to do that. The last flower I have here is a, uh, of course, a wild rose as well, but only with one petal left. And um, here we can actually see the wonderful spiky <laughs> leaves that are behind. So I am starting again with the center. And we have the seeds around. And uh, they are actually becoming more f f kind of um, um, wilted and uh, they are getting a little bit, I don't know, what can you say, messy uh, almost. 
So some of these lines will actually be more of a doodle than actual lines. So up here we had r real lines that are just like that. But here in the wilted one we have very doodly lines. So now we are adding in the remaining petal. It is bent over like that. Making it, I think it looks like it's almost going to, to drop very close or very soon. Has a bent to it like that and actually also have curls around that edge as well. And then we can see those green things that are behind here that are actually kind of holding the rows. And it's funny because it's actually ending in a small leaf. It looks really fun. And uh, I think we can make add one more here. So we have that as well. So here we have five variations of a wild rose. And you can see how much more interesting sketches we get when we vary the angles and uh, actually look at how a color or a flower changes over time where we can see the full bloom when it starts to lose just single petal over here as well and then when we start to lose more petals and uh, I think that is really really interesting and um, something I hope you will experiment with. That was five different roses in different angles and growth stages. And uh, if you want to check out the course Floral Immersion, I'm putting a link for it below where I dive into um, also roses, actually not wild roses, but regular roses daffodils and uh, tulips and even more so you can check that out and uh, i'll talk a lot about how to how the colors change over time and how the shapes change and all that stuff link below here uh, for more details and of course if you want to explore how to how to work even more loosely with your floral sketches check out my freebie also linked here below called Breathe the Life into Your Floral Sketches where I give you a, uh, it's a PDF with five tips to quickly enhance your floral sketches and uh, just bring more life into them. So you are more than welcome to check that out. <laughs> and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>